Welcome to the three biggest mistakes made by people trying to get out of pain. I'm Lawrence Gold, practitioner of HANA Somatic Education, a method of extinguishing pain and improving body functioning. I've been in practice for 27 years. Since 1996, I've had a standing no time limit refund satisfaction guarantee that has seldom been invoked. So the three biggest mistakes, strengthening, stretching, manipulation. The three mainstays of therapy are the three biggest mistakes people make trying to get out of pain. To understand that, first let me explain the origin of the pain that people are trying to get out of. Generally, this is very common. It's muscles that are so tight that they hurt from muscle fatigue. They cause their tendon to be too tight. The two ends of bones that meet at the joint that a tendon crosses get jammed together and that creates joint pain and degeneration called by the way by the fancy name osteoarthritis what it is is the ends of the joint are being jammed together and they break down and nerve pain nerves get pinched or trapped when muscles are so tight that they create pressure on top of the nerve and trap it either between other soft tissue or bone there is a fourth category of pain also which is bursitis a bursa is a fluid filled sac that acts like a pulley across which a tendon passes to attach on the other side of a joint. There are bursas in various places including the shoulder. And when the muscle is tight, the tendon that attaches the muscle to bone is tight and that presses like a strap across the bursa which becomes irritated and painful. So I've just named for you the three or four major uh, origins of chronic pain. Now let's go back to the three mistakes. Strengthening. It's a, a fallacy to say that if you are prone to spasm or you're hurt, it's that your muscles are weak. It's a complete misunderstanding. It's just totally wrong-headed. What it is is that almost always the muscles are way too tight and being tight they are fatigued and being fatigued they feel weakened but they are not weak and they're not in need of strengthening, they're in need of relaxation so that they can become refreshed and this kind of relaxation once a muscle relaxes takes roughly a minute to a minute and a half before strength returns. Second mistake, stretching. Stretching has the correct understanding that the muscle is too tight but its approach is completely wrong. Why? Because muscles become tense and held tense by muscle movement memory. It's not in the muscle, it's in the brain conditioning that the muscles are triggered to maintain their tension all the time. You can't stretch out conditioning. Conditioning has to be in effect unlearned or replaced. So stretching is a misguided effort. The way you know that is the results. It doesn't produce results and very often stretching itself is an ordeal. It's painful to do, unpleasant, destabilizes muscular control and produces no lasting improvement. So it has to be done again and again and again and people call that therapy. Third mistake, manipulation. Manipulation generally deals either with soft tissue or skeletal alignment, both of which are controlled by the degree of tension conditioned into the person generally conditioned into existence by the pain of an injury from which a person never recovered and the cringe or tightening response of that injury becomes a habit that may last for decades. Bones go where muscles pull them. The alignment is what it is because of the patterns of tension within a person triggered either by repetitive use and habit formation, tension habit formation, or by the intense pain of an injury that creates an involuntary cringe response that often becomes chronic and may last for decades. Now here's a fourth biggest mistake and that is to persist in the first three mistakes despite having heard and understood what I've told you. There is a much better alternative which is called pandiculation. Pandiculation is related to yawning. It's built into the nervous system. 
When done, it refreshes control over muscular tension, and it's a way of recapturing control of muscle tension and movement from those primitive reflexes triggered by injury. Works quickly. It doesn't work slowly. It works very quickly. Produces a long-standing, durable change that enables a person can, to get back to activities that they had had to let go of because of their chronic pain. Pendiculation works very quickly. There is a link in this video that you may follow to learn more about pendiculation and about somatic education exercises which are not strengthening, not stretching, and not manipulation, but are actually using that pendicular response to reset your muscular control, extinguish pain, and improve your body functioning. Learn more here. I'm Lawrence Gold. It's your choice.